Okay, so I'm just going to show you quickly my comp. You can see I used to take one for the first part, vocal three, and then I'm coming in, I guess, again with three, and then vocal two, and then vo vocal three, and then vocal, I don't know what that is, if I zoom in, vocal one, then to three. So you can see where I need to kind of fix a couple of these little things. I, if you'll notice, if I'm, I'm in slip mode, I grab the trimmer tool and I grab this puppy here. I used, I said the word peculiar and I hit, I hit it too hard. Command Z, undo. So I took the P from a take that I liked and I'm just going to grab the trimmer tool, I mean the selector tool, and I'm gonna highlight. I'll show you another trick. Let me go through and, and look at all my edits and see if they're okay. Um, Pretty much there's one right there. I can see it's kind of funky. I put my mouse there. I'm going to command bracket to zoom into it. And I probably want to grab the trimmer tool and pull this guy out here. Okay. So now instead of going through um, a whole bunch of playlists, I mean crossfades throughout this whole playlist, I'm going to just highlight the whole playlist and hit command F. And this comes in and says, okay, for fade ins and fade outs, don't worry about it. You can make them longer or shorter. You can see here by the milliseconds. We're just going to say, you know what, just, just do the default. And if it, you get this, just say adjust bounds. And now we've got this, and now we're ready for the harmony part. So like I said, if you take an ear off, especially on this one, your right ear, and if you go to YouTube, command tab to get over to Safari, and if you listen, on the left side is the harmony part, right? Here it comes. This is ground control to major tone. You really made the great. Okay, this is ground control to major tone. Okay, so we're gonna go back to Pro Tools. We need another new track, right? I'm gonna go to the mix screen. I'm gonna make sure I click here because if I commit create a new track, Command Shift N, a mono audio track is the default. I hit return. I'm going to name this uh, Chorus Harm 1. I got to make sure I'm in input 1, and I got to make sure I got a reverb. So again, I'm going to hold Option and just drag this reverb over there to make a copy of it. Now I'm going to swap, swap tracks. So now we've got this track. Okay, I'm going to save, always hitting Command S, and I'm going to go back here. This is major tom, this is ground control to major tom. We're going to give the harmony part a go. So I'm going to make this track a little bit bigger so I can see it. And I'm going to zoom in a bit. And I'm just going to click right there. Let me listen. So this is where I may want pre-roll on command K. Check ignition. And, and I'm just going to start recording. And I'm going to be out of loop record. I'm going to go back in. To quick punch because I don't want to loop this I'm going to just punch this gradually I'm also going to go to the transport window and just see I'm actually just want one bar of pre-roll hit one return now it's going to play one bar from where my mouse is clicked be with you be with you in record this, this is this. Oops, screw screwed up timing let's try that again be with you Okay, that was pretty terrible. Let's do it again. I'm just going to record right over that. And my dog is biting my leg. Let's try it again. Be with you. This is. Forgot to come in. Uh oh. Be Here she with comes. You. This is ground control to. Screw the lyrics. Okay. Be with you. This is ground control to major tone. You've really made the grade. And the papers want to know whose shirt you wear. Okay, first part I didn't get. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to save. I'm going to punch that in with the dog playing with the toy. Ooh. This is 
Try it again. This is ground control to major tone. Okay, good enough for now. All right, now I'm gonna punch in this next part. Here we go. Um, this is, let me move this out of the way. It's time to leave the capsule. Not step out, but leave, but here we go. You know whose shirt you wear. Now it's time to leave. So now I need to go back to the video and go, okay, what, what the hell's the, what the hell's that part go? Whose shirt you wear. Now it's time to leave the capsule. Capsule, if you dare, this time I'm gonna punch right in there. No, whose shirt you wear? Now it's time to leave the capsule, if you dare. All right, we we'll go back to the video again. Reference. This is Major Tom to ground control. I'm stepping through the door. in the most peculiar way. So, so we don't need these two lines, thank God. And I'm floating in the most peculiar way. Uh, and so let's just go ahead and finish it. Let me listen how the stars go. So you see I'm just going back and forth, command, tab. And the stars look very different today. I'm gonna screw that up. Okay, here we go. I'm floating in the most peculiar way. I'm probably gonna screw it up, but here we go. Stepping through the door, and I'm floating in the most peculiar way. And the stars look very today okay good enough so we've got a harmony part uh we've we've have a vocal track and now we're gonna go and we're gonna take this same track and we're gonna punch in to the tin can part so we're going to make sure pre-roll is on and so if pre-roll is on for one bar and i'm Right here, I'm punching in. I'm clicking right before Tin Can. Today, for here. So, um, for here, I think I need to be a little bit closer. If we're getting where, if we're in pit quick punch, we don't have to worry about it. So let's save and let's go to the next lesson where we'll record the Tin Can part. <laughs> 